Okay, in this video I'd like to show you about multiplying power series by functions. Now, doing that is actually pretty straightforward and the main reason I'm actually doing this video is to show you what to do after you multiply the, the power series by a function. And that involves basically the, uh, the, the changing of indices and, and shifting your indices. So, what I've done in front in, in red is a differential equation. Notice that I have a function x multiplied by the second derivative and the first derivatives. So I define my power series here as y is equal to the sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity of a sub n times x to the n plus r. If you differentiate that once, you'll get y prime here, and if you differentiate that twice, you'll get y double prime here. I've done a video on differentiation of power series, so look at that if you don't understand it fully. And then if that doesn't work, just ask me a question. So what I'd like to do now is uh, basically multiply each of these functions here by x. So let's do the following. So if I multiply x times y prime, we get x times the sum n equals 0 to infinity of a sub n times n plus r times x to the n plus r minus 1. And of course you know that x is just equal to x to the 1. So we can bring that x to the 1 inside and write it there. And we should know at this stage that if you multiply powers, then you're, it's the same as adding, or if you're multiplying two, um, we'll say two things with, the same, with, with different powers, then it's the same as adding the powers. So in this case I'm adding n plus r minus 1 and 1, and that basically just gives us n plus r, like so. So what we see here is that x times y prime is this, uh, th is this, we'll say, power series here. So I can get rid of that element here if I multiply by x at the start. So if I do the same thing for the x double prime, uh, excuse me, x y double prime, we're going to get that this is going to be equal to negative 1 here. Alright, now that's uh, pretty straightforward stuff. That's the easy part. The more difficult part is that when you're solving differential equations with power series, your series must always start at the same position and also the powers on your uh, functions must be the same. So if we look here we have that y double prime, y prime and, and y, or say x y double prime and x y prime and y all start at n is equal to zero and finish at infinity. So they satisfy that condition. If you look at x y prime and y you find that both their powers are equal in that it's x to the n plus r. However, the x y double prime has x to the n uh, plus r minus 1. So that is different. Alright, and what we need to do basically is to adjust x y double prime so that it's similar to these, and we do that by shifting the indices. Alright, so how do we go about shifting the indices? Now the thing is, we want the indice we want is x to the n plus r. And we still want the sum to be from n is equal to 0 to infinity. Alright, so I said before that when you're shifting indices, if you increase the indices here, you decrease where it starts. And if you increase, and if you, excuse me, increase, let me say it again, if you decrease the indices or the n values here, you uh, increase this, and if you increase this, you decrease this. Alright, so it's kind of opposite. If you, it, 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 they're, they're kind of inverses of each other. So what we want is that x to the n plus r minus 1 becomes x to the n plus r. So we are increasing all the n indices here, which means we are decreasing this. But of course we can't decrease it because it's at n is equal to 0. Alright, so let's just see what we do if we actually start writing the power series. What if we actually start at n is equal to 0? We get the following. We'll get a naught times r times r minus 1 times x to the r minus 1. And with that, we'll have the power series n is equal to 1 from infinity of a n n plus r n plus r minus 1 x to the n plus r minus 1. Now, why does it, why is it from 1 here? Because this is the n is equal to 0 term. Alright, this is the n is equal to 0 term. However, if we look closely, we can see that this term here, we can shift the indices down on this term so that we get n is equal to 0 and we get x to the n plus r. Alright, so let's just do this. So, 
what I'm going to do here is any place I have n in this equation here I'm going to write n plus 1. Alright, and let's see what we get as a result of that. It's pretty straightforward stuff. So I'll do this in red and I'll do it over here. So we're going to get the sum and leave this blank here for the moment. So every place I have n, I'm going to put n plus 1. An plus 1. n plus r plus 1. n plus r x to the n plus r. Alright, and this still goes to infinity. And I said if we increase in the equation, we decrease in where it starts. And if we decrease in the equation, we increase where it starts. So what we've done is we've increased in the equation, so we must decrease where we started. And we now start at n is equal to 0. So the, what we now have is a naught times r, r minus 1, x to the r minus 1, plus this. That now is equal to y double prime. Alright, so just bear with me now one moment. Alright, what I'm going to do is rewrite the whole thing up here. I know you can't see it yet, just bear with me now. So x, y double prime. So now it's time to analyze the three equations or the three power series which we have. We know that x, y double prime, x, y prime and y all start at n is equal to zero and they go to infinity and they all have the power x to the n plus r and where we have this extra factor here uh, in front of the x, y double prime. All right, so that's, that's really what I wanted to show you. That's how you get everything to be, we'll say, starting at the same. It's by filling out or putting in some of the terms of some of the equations and then shifting the indices of the remainder. Alright, so um, I hope that's reasonably straightforward. This will be done definitely if you're doing the method of Frobenius and there will be a couple of examples that I'll do as well. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.